Hey there, everybody. Fat here, and welcome back to Fat Plays Realms of Magic. You may notice we look a little different now. Yes, certainly. We have uh, some... Oh, well, finally, I should say, we got the Purple Haze Breastplates. My helmet, which is a uh, sorcerer helmet, makes you look a little, look a little angry. But that's all right. We're feeling pretty good, actually, except for our boots could be used some upgrades. But there's a lot of things to talk about. There's some adventures to be had as well. Um, let's start with the new stuff. I have Frostleaf now. Let me show you how I got it. I came over here, it turns out. And, uh, Alavara, uh, Alarva, I keep mispronouncing her name, is now selling it. I assume once you get to a certain level, they start selling the next level of, of you know, items. Because our hunter has them too. If we'll go over there... Take a quick look. Talk to Leticia. I did all the harvesting before I started, too. So, uh, you know, we're going to try to speed run through this section. But now we have uh, snow wolf pelts, the mohair, the goat pelt, and the raw goat meat. Let's also go ahead and buy the snout, buy the fang, uh, get the rat tails, you know, the alchemy stuff, basically. And the rabbit foot. We do have rabbits, but we don't, we don't make enough of them, in my opinion. Anyway, we could also... Eventually, we can get pig snouts on the regular, too. That'll be fun. Okay. Let's go ahead and stack stuff up here. Now we'll make some of the things. So, Burdacus. So, there is still a reason to grow that. Frost leaf. And one vial with water gives you a greater healing potion, which is 250 health over 8 seconds. That's pretty good. Stamina potion. The Aranica petals. Very nice. Greater mana potion, which should be one of our faves moving forward. And that's all the new stuff here. So that's still pretty good, though. I mean, I'm tempted to just make greater mana potions. Why not, right? Seems like the most valuable one of the list here. Mm-hmm. Give me that big, beautiful level up. And then I'm thinking mining elixirs would be nice, too. It's just rat tails and pig snouts. What's not the love? And then that's all of the greater ones I got. So I think I'm good for now. On that front. Cooking wise, though, look what we got. We got goat. So now we can make grilled goat ribs. Let's make it. By the way, we're level 84 with cooking. Uh, we can then switch out the carrots and the peas for garlic and onion and salt to uh, make spicy goat ribs. Delicious. And then finally, ham sandwiches. You get five of these for one cornbread and one raw pork. What a deal. What a steal of a deal, even. No, make two more. That's actually a great deal. Meatballs with tomato sauce. Dude, that's phenomenal. Pork, tomato, onion, and garlic. We still don't have garlic, but we have everything else. And I'm hoping our exploring today allows us to make some more of this stuff. Stuffed tomatoes, or grow some of that stuff, I should say. Let's go ahead and make that just to get it on the docket. And then down here, we got caramelized plums. We have plums now. We got the white sugar. We got it cooked. And then fruit mousse with apple, pear, strawberry, blueberry. Let's go. All right, that's all the new stuff, right? Yep, yep, yep. Very good, very good. Mostly it's just for selling right now. Over here, nothing new in here yet. We do have a, a good amount of iron bars. I should turn some of that to steel, and I probably will. Um, wild pelt leather. I got some rabbit pelts. We got frost fur leather as well now. So that's new-ish. And, of course, the sheep leather. You know what? While we're uh, sitting here, let's drink a yellow potion. A lesser crafting elixir. Make this go a little bit faster. Snow wolf pelts. 54 of them. All right. That's a lot of frost fur leather. We get, need to make sure we have space for it. But that means we can make all kinds of new stuff, at least in theory. So that's going to be good. But yeah, we're, we're upgrading a lot of things. Oh, there's one more thing I need to look at, too. Yeah, I got uh, some level ups over there in... Not alchemy, milling. We also have a talent point to give away, and I think and it's going to go over here. I could upgrade Fireball for more base damage. That seems... Kind of seems like the way to go. Might be the easy way out, but... You know, we are uh, one hell of a Fire Mage right now. So I'm almost like, how can I not, you know? Also, we're almost level 80 already. Ah, my god, the Goat Pelts. <laughs> this will get us to level 80, actually. This is... This is bought off of one Hunter. Goodness gracious. 
I think I might have actually bought it from him twice because I just had the capacity to do so. But still, the rate this is going is actually phenomenal. The rate we're getting stuff here. Level 80 now. Beautiful. Oh, we're going to hit 81. Even better. I don't think we're going to hit 82, but I could be wrong. 10 goat pelts left. Go ahead and get that done. So, if we're level 27, what is this? Level 30? And down here, level 35. Okay. So, level 30, I could get like. Oh, that's what I'm getting. Decreased or increased efficiency. Never mind. I don't even need to check anything else. I'm getting more efficiency. 100%. All right. Slap these down here if we could. I know we can. There's space for it somewhere. There you go. And then over here, we got the wool. We got the mohair now. Which, uh, let's make like 20 of the cloth. And they'll turn the rest in the rope. Because as always, you need more rope than you need the cloth. And I'm going to skip the, the wool for now. Not going to worry about that. But I am going to go ahead and do up the cotton. The reason for this is... Uh, we'll do 30. Eh, we'll do 25 of the cotton cloth. Nah, we should just do 20. Nah, we'll just do this many. Yeah, uh, and then turn the rest in the rope. I need to use the steel and the iron to make some armor and stuff, and I need rope and cloth to do that. So, if I carry it over there, make what I need to make, then come back, you know, it'll be, uh, in theory, more efficient. Let's see. Here's what I want. Let's see what we can make here. Iron swords? Iron battle axes? What about the... I thought I had the stuff for the armor. Do I not have the stuff for the armor? Hmm. Where is the armor? Uh, mithril armor, iron, iron. I've already made the iron armor. And the steel requires wool and rot skin. Oh, and I've already made it all. So I guess it's just mithril now, which requires the cotton and the hard hide leather. So I guess I didn't need any of that crap. Oh, well, let's make new weapons. Iron spear? Iron war hammer. It's all going to be weaker than what I have, so I'm not really too worried about it. I am going to need to make more sticks, obviously. You can see that. So I got some in my hand. I will make them right now. Let's uh, get some made, shall we? Let's make... Uh, there you go. Slap down 40 from the pine. And then we'll make some more weapons happen here. Uh, that's all I had room for? Okay. I still have 50 steel. What am I supposed to do with all this? Make a bucket. Make a cup. It's worth 45 bronze. How much is raw iron... Or not raw iron, but... How much is an iron ingot worth? 50. Uh... <laughs> worth 3 and 5 silver. And I'm making freaking... Iron goblets out of them? Worth 1.5 silver for all three? What a rip. Oh my gosh. They don't even look that great. You know? These don't look amazing or anything. Jeez. Um, this is literally just for the experience. Otherwise, it's a waste. Ooh, I can make stuff out of silver now. Make a silver chandelier or a silver candlestick. I need to see if that's worth it, too. But first, I need to waste more money. 14 iron nails. Oh, boy. 16 steel nails. They're not even divided into iron and steel. It's just... Just getting the new stuff out of the way. Iron candlestick. At least that's worth four, and you get two of them. So that's eight silver for one. That's worth it. All right? Which means the steel one's probably worth it, too. Five silver? Ooh, yeah, that's actually still worth it. Yeah, and that's worth money. That's what you use the rest of your steel on. Candlesticks, man. Uh, silver one's worth 10. How much is a silver... How much is a silver bar worth? I don't have many of them. Actually, I have quite a few. Five? Silver's worth less than steel. That's mildly surprising to me. Hmm. All right. Learn something every day. Make them anyway. I mean, that just makes the... You know, chandeliers and candelabras even more worth it. Maybe I'll replace... You know what? Give me... Two more of these. Maybe I'll replace the ones around my house. And then I'll make, like... 20 candlesticks. Just for the trade stat. 
Um, iron anvil. Make that just to make it. I guess I'm done with iron and steel already? That's kind of blowing my mind. I don't need to make anything else here yet. Milling. This is what I want to look at. Look. We have, uh, oh, wait. No, we don't. Um, what am I missing? I think I know what I'm missing. Make 35 brown dye. Because we're at level 80, and that means something. Oh, you know what? I think I put the rest of the dye down there at the... Did I put it down in this chest? No. Where did I put the dye? Alright, I'm losing my mind again. Um, I thought... Did I sell a bunch of dye? Like a dumbass? Um... Yeah, I've only got a couple of the dyes here. Where are the rest of my dyes? They're down here? Oh, they're down here. Okay. Give me these. Alright. Check it. We now have gray dye. It is red, green, and blue dye. And it's worth over a million crafting experience for the first one. Make 15 of them. Oh, the joys of gray, apparently. This is how you get milling experience. The ne so the next one's gonna be a combination of something else, right? It's so gonna be a uh, black dye? Seems like the next one it would be. That was enough for a level up. I'm losing my mind over here. Uh, make 30 more while we spend our point on... I almost feel like we should go down here. Maybe give me some armor? Either armor or health. I do want the regen. I don't want to drain stamina points just by existing. You know what? Armor and magic resist is what we need. Let's go down that path a little bit. I feel like that's a good idea. We're about to hit level 90 already. <laughs> um, how much more do I need for level 90? Ah, that's actually not going to hit me. Get me there, but that's okay. It's close enough. <laughs> um, because I could just use do something. There you go. One purple die. Level nine. Yep, it's black dye. I was right. Gray and br brown? Really? All right. Dude, you're gonna, you're gonna do this to me. I'm gonna take it. You know? This is free experience. I'm gonna hit level 100 in milling. And I believe I've been told. Yeah, look how close we are to the next level already. The last, like, 10 levels give you a stupid amount of experience per, like, level up. Watch this up here. Oh my gosh! We're gonna get our extra talent points in no time. Holy crap. This is gonna make it- This might actually put us at level 30, or- Yeah, 30. This is level 29. Uh, I'm gonna save it, because I'm gonna be able to get two things at the next level, and then this is gonna be- This is so broken. Oh my god. This is totally gonna get us level 30. I'm losing my mind. Oh my gosh. Yep. There's still 12 more to make. Uh, and it might get us level 100 milling, too. There's level... Yep, there's level 30. Wow. Um... I have to do it. Uh... 10 more. Give me level 100 on it. See how much it does up here. We got a little over 100 experience toward the next level. That was 600,000. Oh, you can go past level 100, too. Because, you know, video games. Um, five, or Seven firelings. Okay. Increase fire damage and increase incinerating aura stacks. Uh, decrease spell cost. Yup. And... Honestly, I think I have enough firelings for right this second. Give me fire proficiency. More damage. Now I'm an even better fire mage than ever. <laughs> and all it took was making a bunch of uh, black dye. Oh, my. Can I use it right away? Nope. All right. That's fine. It's fine by me. Um, I think I'm actually going to just hold on to the dye. Yeah. This can go in. This can go in. Yeah, this stuff can go in. Let's stay there. I'm going to hold on to the die for now. Very cool. Very cool. I, I can't believe I got that many level ups off that. It's kind of blowing my mind. Any cucumbers up here? Nope. But also, just want to show this off because I did a little bit of exploring earlier, too. That's my first blueberry bush. Actually, that's my first bush ever. 
don't quote me and uh that's a plum tree so yeah new things it's pretty great hey Letitia, do me a favor buy this food that i made i made some cupcakes too i'm gonna keep them yeah i'll keep them there you go thank you uh i guess i have a little bit of extra food in inventory but that's fine let's start exploring around stone bridge because i want to see what they got should be oak trees right Ooh, strawberries nice i got an achievement for master miller too get it get the achievement out of the corner i want to see if i got seeds i did not <laughs> so there's my leeks all right and we got a seed already too What's that purple stuff down oh wolves okay um yeah let's go ahead da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. bring it on wolfies Oh, that's 30 damage per do. Let's go. We strong. As corn, I'm guessing. Right there. Oh, yeah, you thought you got me, but you actually hurt yourself. As corn. I guessed correctly. Beautiful. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 slaps for one of these. All right, let's speed that up a bit, shall we? Uh, that's mining elixir with that. Yeah, we'll just do the lesser one for now. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. That is 50% faster. There's an acorn. Life's good. Give me like 10 of these and I'll be feeling great. That cherry trees. My dude, I would not tell... I would not chop one of these down, nor would I lie about it if I did. You got a cherry tree seed, though. I almost didn't say that right. Uh, it's pig... Those are... Okay, those are tame pigs. I actually would rather not kill those pigs. But, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, that's gonna do it for me. Well, you don't get hurt by touching the ice, do you? Okay, you don't. Good. Uh, y'all can stay here for now. If you'll do me that favor. I will come back for you. And I will build a pig pen. And you will, you will live in it. And you'll have a good life, probably. Anyway, you got some cotton seeds, which is good, because I've grown a lot of not a lot. I've grown like three cycles of cotton back at the house. And I've yet to get an extra seed from it. So this was actually incredibly valuable. <sighs> Believe it or not. Give me them leeks, baby. We'll spin them. It'll be great. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm really... As much as I need the... The fruit, the veggies, and the wood. But I... Oh, boy. What I'd really like to see... I'm just one-handing this guy. Alright. That worked. Took a little bit longer, but it worked. What I'd really like to see is an NPC. I need either a blacksmith, or... I don't know if they actually exist, if you can actually... If they have an NPC of this type, but I'd love to have a regular merchant. You know, someone I could buy glass off of back at the house. That way I don't have to go to Woodbury anymore. <laughs> No offense to Woodbury. I mean, maybe a little offense. It's it's Woodbury, but... You know... We don't... We're done there. You know, we've done everything there is to do. Except for maybe one quest I didn't bother with. I love how your character just... His right arm... Just completely and absolutely dead... While chopping down these trees. Hello. You bad guys? Yep, you bad guys. Alright. Uh, you're gonna get the double here. That wait, that's harvestable? What is that? Hello. Alright, good night, ass assin. Oh, it's soil root. Okay. First time hearing of it. Cold plate gauntlets. Neat. And a level up. Okay. Well, I gotta keep an eye out then. I had no idea that was something harvestable. There's the old berries. Now I know what they look like. They are also bushes. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Can I have a seed of them, please? Thank you for the level up, by the way. I appreciate that as well. Please, my life for an NPC. Alright. Really? Nothing? Dang it. Mm, well, we're not done with the... Oh, hey, that guy's got purple pauldrons. He's looking pretty smooth, to be honest. Dude, look at this. Our mana is struggling to actually be drained. 
What if, what if I did switch to the, uh... The double fireball. It's like... 10 mana a cast? It's a steal, man. Come here. Suck it down. Come on, ringleader. I'll give you something to lead. These balls of fire. All right. Cotton. Phenomenal. The seeds for the cotton come in quite quickly. At least from here. And you know, the best part is I don't have a... a or a fire going on right now, so I'm not going to hurt the pigs. I do want to get you snoots at some point, though. Just letting you know. Also, the leeks can turn into pig food. So that's, you know, very helpful. There ain't no NPCs here, is there? I'm coming here to cry to the end of this area. The only thing I'm going to find is my own tears. It's not stopping me from trying. I see you over there. Come here and get the business. I forgot I switched to fireball. I mean, it worked out. I just forgot. Okay, eat more corn. I like corn. Corn seeds, that's good. I probably have more than enough for a full thing of corn at this point. Old berries. Hey, an old berry seed. Let's freaking... Oh my god, a minotaur? Just here? Uh, he's way weaker than the boss one. Way, way weaker. He just kind of died. <laughs> okay. I remember the boss one putting up a fight, so I was concerned for a minute. Apparently, I didn't have to be. Alright, after this, we're gonna dig down, see what's uh, hiding for us down here. I'm gonna have the torch on for a bit. We're not getting very many acorns, but I think that's just because I'm only level 51 in woodcutting. Which is not a lot. What is you? Feral boar, alright. You can tell because he hasn't had a haircut. I guess. It's fine. It worked out. Thank you for the fur. I can use that for some more leather. It's always a good thing. Hey, right, how much longer is this map here? I'm getting the soil root seeds. That makes me feel good, like busting. I think I'm going to move where my onions are, too. Because I... I'm thinking maybe all the stuff that's underground should be for the herbalism and all the stuff above will be for the regular mining and such. You know what I mean? Just have a little bit of order to the chaos. Or at least pretend I have order. Now, I just want you to think that I know what I'm doing. Even if it's a lie. That's a dark elf. Okay. I see where you live now. With your thug gloves. Over here thinking you're so tough. Because you have gloves of thug. All right. Well, I have a shovel. So bring it. I also have fireballs. They're pretty good. Oh my gosh, he just died. He had no chance to survive. He could not make his time. Is that mithril? It is mithril ore. This is how you know we're going to have a good time today. It is exceptionally dark in this area. That's basalt. And I'm not sure what it's good for. Uh, let's go ahead and drink a greater mining elixir. Because I'm thinking we're going to want some of this base salt somewhere down the line. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. That was mud. Why was it there? They were still uh, above ground. Kind of in a way, technically. Although I think this might be the line right here. Let's find out if it is. Could be losing my mind, of course. We'll see. Nope. Farther down than that. I'm just looking for it, okay? I know you'll find it eventually, Danny. It's also an excuse for me to, you know, get more of this base salt while I'm here. And it only takes three hits. I mean, it's good mining skill. Can't complain about that, right? I need it. At least in theory. Okay. Some dirt to be a little bit easier to get through. No? No? Still not at the bottom, huh? All right. How about now? Nope. I see the mithril over there. Don't think I'm not going for it. There it is. Okay. Now we're technically underground. Like, fully underground. That's how it works, you know. 
Anyway, it makes sense it would be extra dark in this area because the dark elves, they uh, gain more regen in the dark. So, you know, it's, it's a tactical decision by them. And here's my tactical decision. Hello, how you doing? Spell sword, huh? I saw some sword and didn't see no spells. Nice bear hide boots you got. Dude, I cannot, oh geez. Cannot wait to see what prizes they have here in the chest. I'm expecting like at least something really cool. I might be, you know, oh geez. My expectations may be too high. I don't know yet. But we're gonna find out together. There's a ringleader leg plate, so I can get the armor that they wear. I mean, that's kind of true for the how this whole area works, for the most part. Dude, we strong. Feeling strong. Feeling a little, little, little toughy right now. Just a little toughy. Get some more basalt while we're here. All right. Uh, whoa! Oh, jeez. What is that? A feral kobold. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That means ears for me. Which is exactly what I need. Dude, this salt is everywhere, apparently. Every... Hey, that's... I see that over there. Not every area has everything, but every area apparently has salt. Good to know. Oh, come on now. Let's see. Dig down? Yeah, this is where we dig down. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Get some more of that good old mithril. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. A little too far, too far. <laughs> I wanted to keep digging over here, or at least looking over here. Hello? Any more mithril for me? I think you need three mithril to get a whoop. Not to get a whoop, but to get a... Oh my gosh. To get a mithril ore, so... Or not ore. Mithril ingot. So, it's very important that we get a good amount of it every time, if possible. Hello! Is a treasure chest. I see it. This is what I wanted this whole time. I mean, not really. I don't know what I really want. I mean, yes, I did. I wanted an NPC, technically. But uh, I know I'm not going to get it right here, so I'll take this as my second favorite thing. That's it? Two enemies? Hmm. Seems a little weird. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, wow. No, there was like four enemies there. Uh, scroll of Husbandry, some corn, and Frost Path Fragment. All right. There's got to be more enemies, right? There does not. Apparently. Because there isn't. Okay. That's fine. Hello? Hmm. They're dropping into something, boys. There they are. Oh, yes! A Dwarven Chest. Dude, we are just... Like a living meteor spell. Alright, good night. Thanks for your stuff. Beautiful. Ooh, leatherworking, uh, blacksmithing, and ringleader polderon. Sweet. Ooh, cotton seeds, too. All good things, all good things. You ever notice they, you never find, like, the, the ore in those? Like, you might find some silver. But you never find, like, the ore of the area. At least I feel like you don't. Maybe you do. And it's just rare enough where I don't ever notice it. That wouldn't surprise me. Wow, that goes way farther down than I thought. Okay. Hi. How y'all doing? Get the business. Oh, jeez. Got some more business getters over here. Thanks for the smelting skill, though. Man, kobolds need to give up their ears more. Well, we have enough to make a map of stone bridge. Wait, we have we're at stone bridge. <laughs> um, I need to sell those. Whoops. All right, there's got to be a big metal chest somewhere around here. Look how much area there is here. Can't just be mithril. I uh, say with very unfounded uh, confidence, apparently. All right, fine. They make me look like a dumbass. Not like that's hard to do. Oh, come on now. 
Yeah. There we go. There we go. And what's up this way before we go down? Ah, I see enemies. That could mean that we're seeing some good stuff. Oh, yeah, there's a chest over there. Cool. That spamming didn't work as well as I was hoping it would. Thankfully, the spell sword is, uh, not that bright. Yeah, you, you can't fix stupid. I mean, you know, it's an AI, so maybe you could. But you didn't. So, it's easy stuff. This cutthroat gauntlet's sweet and a level up. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Now we'll head back to where we saw that mithril over there. Uh, yeah. Get all of this reward. Some uh, coal, too. It's probably... I don't know if it's totally worth digging out, but it feels like it probably is, at least to some degree. Okay, we're going to explore one more plot of land around Stonebridge as well. So, we're going to get ready for that. I think once this... Elixir runs out, then we'll... Oh, God! That was a big fall. Then we'll explore another one. Another tile, that is. Okay. Scroll of Husbandry. A few more seeds. We got so many seeds at this point. Okay, thank you for not letting that drop. Because I got more mining to do up here. Got some silver from that baby. Okay, I see you dudes down there. I'll get you. Just give me a minute. Thought you could hide from me. All right. Swoop they butts. Whoa, hey there. Thankfully, I was just as big a surprise to them as it was to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What was that? Bear hide spalders? Sweet. Okay. No treasure over here. Just stuff to dig. That's fine. Do I even need the salt? I mean, I guess you do need it for some recipes, but I feel like we have a lot of it. I could be wrong, though. I don't remember. We have a number. Is it a big number? Is it a small number? I don't know. It's a number. Hmm. What is that to the right? Ah, oh, we'll get there. Okay. Either way. Actually, I feel like we should drop right into the middle between these two areas. Right here. And then we can dig both ways. There we go. What are you, my dude? The neat mask you got going on. Oh, well, you're dead. That's what you are. Nightblade. Where's that dude's armor? His mask is sick. I'll take 12. Oh, hi. Okay, don't want to deal with you guys. Hmm, there's some myth. All right, gotta remember before we drop down, there's like way more stuff to explore on the other side. Man, I'm happy to see kobolds down here. The ears are relatively rare, but still. I feel like there should be an adventurer NPC class or something that comes goes out and hunts like the monster stuff for you. Just to let you be able to buy those too. I mean, I don't have to do that, obviously, but... Be nice. Nice little bit of a inconvenient or an ink not inconvenience, convenience. The opposite of inconvenience. Alright, you're done. You clowns of that. Thank you for the ear. I needed that. Thank you for the farming scroll. Ooh, bear hide gauntlets as well. Very cool, very cool. Okay, how much longer we got? Five minutes? Alright. That's fine. Let's see what's over this way. Hmm, I see Mithril! And I want it. I'm also happy to get the base salt, because I'm, I'm assuming at some point we'll be able to build something out of it. Whether it's good or not is, you know, up for debate, but we'll be able to build something. Ooh, there's a lot of Mithril down here. Look at this. Nice little smorgasbord. Beautiful. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, any over here? I doubt it, but nope. All right, down we go then. No! Damn it. <laughs> it's fine. We'll get it later. We'll get it right now. You're on a mow. Oh, that's a big... Hello, sorcerer. How you doing? Magic versus magic, baby. Turns out I was magic here. Oh, I didn't expect that to be a drop. It's fine. We're fine. You're fine. I'm fine. We're all fine. Hello? Hmm. What we got going on over here, then? Oh, more cobalt. Okay. Or base salt. Sorry. Never mind. Is that more mithril up there? I think that is a block of mithril, but there's more over here, so... The time is getting a little crunched, so I think we want to just keep moving. Also, there's, uh, that dude over there. Oh, come on now. There we go. Thankfully, he didn't s he didn't sniff the rat getting cooked behind him. That was lucky for us, you know. Yay. Appreciate that mining level up. Uh, really, though. No. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Fighting, fighting. Feet hurt, ow. Doing that to me. Ooh. Metal. Metal chest. I want it. I want it and I will have it. Oh, look at you with your magic and your fireballs. Yeah, I got the, ow. You call that magic? You call that magic? Sparklers, man. Herbalism. Tanning. Excellent. Um, cold plate pauldrons. Cutthroat hat. Seed seeds. Yes, please. And we should probably have, yeah, more than enough for a map to frost path now. But I will continue taking the adventure, the story. After all, that's why we're here, right? Well, we're also partially here to build, like, a nice little... Nice little village but that's almost secondary. Dude is so dork. I cannot see a dang thing. Oh boy. That's a good amount of myth. Who wins? It's like a little mix of mithril and salt. It's interesting. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. I see, oh boy, I did not think that, I thought there was gonna be a path there. Like something to dig. Hmm. Cutthroat jacket. Looks neat. Can I get some more sorcerer stuff? I'm like, I'm surprised I've only had one. Considering there are actual sorcerer enemies around here, I would expect to see more. But, no. Maybe it's just me. My, my expectations are unrealistic, I guess. That's what I get for wanting things. I just want some cool things. You're all like, no, can't have it. You could take your cool things and shove them in your cool thing place. To which I will say, don't talk about my, about my cool thing place. Please. Oh, it's out. Oh, frick. Okay. Well, then we are pretty much done. I will dig out these last two mithril over here. And yes, I see more. I will dig it. Because that's what I do. I dig. Especially in the dirt, where it's easy to get to. Okay, that looks like that's all the easy access mithril. So let's move to the next area. Uh, we'll move right next door. Let's see if there's an NPC or two. It's a little dark. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's, uh... It's alright, we prepared for this. That's why we brought this. Sleep for seven hours. See? The perfect plan. Takes four hits to pack up your sleeping bag. Goodness me gracious, dude. No wonder we're all in trouble. Got some garlic. That's actually new. And it's the next thing we needed. So this is already a 10 out of 10 area for us. Alright, got some old berry. Got some uh, minotaur berry. 
Not my favorite flavor. Hey, a horn! I wonder what that's gonna be for. You have my attention. Right, it's four billion hits because I need to drink the juice. Do I need to drink the juice, though? Do I want to drink the juice? I'll drink the juice. All right. It's worth it because we don't have oak at all yet. Dude, the garlic's great. So if we're going to move stuff down, that means we need to move the... Um, oh, what are they called? Dundelions down. Underground. It's going to be some work to be done back at the house. But I think it's going to be a great plan once it's implemented. Oh, there's more. Of course there's more. Why would wargs be lone hunters? Maybe some of them would. But not these ones. So when you see one, you gotta be ready for like four more. That's fine. Take them all out together. They won't even know what hit them. I like the corn. Right? We're no longer on fire, so we can just walk past these dudes, get strawberry seeds! Hell yes. Alright, getting a good amount of strawberries from these, too. Hey, hey I see you up there. How y'all doing? <laughs> Look, sometimes they're not difficult. What can I say? I mean, this whole area so far, I'm a little little strong for this area at this point. I acknowledge that. You know, I blame my milling. <laughs> Especially since I'm like 99% sure at this point I could turn all of my like lower level inks into higher level ink to gray and then black. And just from that alone, I could get whatever level I wanted. I, the game is officially like broken in my favor. Not that I'm complaining. Just observing. But it does seem like once you hit level 100 and something, uh, you... You become the game's absolute overlord. And we may have reached that point. I don't even use the balls anymore, even though they're fun. I just don't need them. You know? We don't need protection. At least not in this area, not yet. I don't know, there might be a boss that we'll find after everything's said and done. I'm trying to decide if I like casting both hands simultaneously, or if I prefer, like, doing one or the other in, like, a... You know, very quick Gallic gun motion. Just bam, 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 bam. I mean, that's fun, you gotta admit. It looks neat. Oh, hi, how you doing? There you go. Out of my house with yous. Give me some seeds. There they are. Yeah. Grow our own cherry trees. Beautiful. And we got a good amount of acorns at this point, too. Alright. The question is, should I dig underground here? And that's a fair question, actually. I'm gonna... How much acorns do I have at this point? Because I think I'm... Seven? Let's aim for ten. A nice round number. You know? We'll leave that one back there. It's it's fine. <laughs> it's still alright by itself. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I was showing you some mercy back there because I was hoping you would uh, do me a quick solid and give me an acorn tree seed. There we go. There we go. They say acorn seed is redundant, isn't it? Uh, either way. I don't think we're gonna dig underground here, is what I was gonna say earlier. We're just gonna go to the next area. I want to find another NPC. You know? I have an iron anvil, I think, in my inventory right now. I could make a blacksmith area. Oh, I did kind of sell one of the furnaces. I could make more. Oh, hi! Hello! Oh, you're an herbalist. Well, hello, Snoodras. Uh, you weren't what I was looking for, but, you know, you look for a nice place to live. I have a place to live. Come with me. Stop shrugging and let's go. The days do go by, you know? That is that is how time works, let me tell you. And it, it, it works quite quickly. Especially when you're having fun. Uh... Hi, pigs. 
I mean, I should just go ahead and grab a couple of you now, but you never know when we're going to end up fighting in the next area. Oh, we got ten. We're fine there. Don't worry about the trees. You know, if you over-tree, it's just kind of a waste of time, it feels like. So we'll go to the next area. See if there's a Minotaur here. Greetings. Hi. Uh, yeah, come with me. Keep following. I'm going to just... just hey. Hiding corn here. You're not, like, subject to damage when you're following me in a different area, right? I hope not. That would be embarrassing. You just up and died. Ow, ow. Okay, you're not. You're, you're, you're invincible. I mean, it'd be cool if you could get one as an actual fighting follower, but I understand if you did that, you'd have to, like, do all the work that goes into making a follower and all that. Probably just seemed like way too much work. I mean, I feel like that's a disingenuous way to put it, because now it sounds like I'm just talking bad about the, de the devs. Oh, they're lazy. They just didn't want to do this work. No, it's probably just a design decision, you know? You're a lone warrior. With the ability to fireball things to impunity. It's just what you do. Have I gotten an old berry seed? I feel like I've gotten one. I just hope I'm correct on that. Oh, that's whoops. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Hello? Oh, what a... Did you see that weird-ass jump? What the hell? It just, like, jumped with its ass in the air. What even was that? Oh, you another NPC. I think you are. Hello. Another herbalist. <sighs> All right. <sighs> sure, it's more herbs I can buy, but I mean, it's not what I'm looking for. Yeah, you two can talk. All right. Who do you like? Uh, you're not a goblin, right? You're like a... Can't tell. Lay behind you is an orc. I'm like 90% sure. You know, I'm, I'm kind of stupid when it comes to the races of this area. So please cut me a little bit of slack, but... It's not a goblin. I think I was thinking of the word gnome, but I mean... I don't know. Are any of the gnomes green? Maybe he's just like a really ugly orc? I don't know! <laughs> Hello, Pharaoh or Or? 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 I don't know anymore. I'm just... Inventing words at this point. I swear, if I go to the next area and I run to another dang herbalist, I'm gonna flip. I mean, we have plenty of gold. I kind of thought you were gonna die before you got the chance to attack me. At least that's what I was banking on there. It's fine. Herbalism level up. That's what I like to see. Can I have a nice seed from an old berry? Please, I'd like to see one. Someday. Oh, I'd like to see one in my inventory. Hello, Ward. How you doing, New Day? Ow. That was my face. I didn't appreciate that. Just letting you know. There we go. Now I have at least one guaranteed. What was that down there? That's just a, just a stone. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> you, you know what? I don't need this cotton. It's fine. You all can eat it. Do pigs eat cotton? Probably not, but if they did, they'd be feasting right now. All on my dime. Just saying. I helped the pig. And they helped me, too. Well, they will. Once I have some back at home. They bury you, bury you. Oh, no, yeah. We're fine. All right, we're going to check one more area. I'm fine finding, like, other NPCs. I'm just... He's not what I'm looking for. You know, I'm looking for some different droids. Just saying. All right, this is the last area. If we don't find another NPC here, I'm just going to grab some pigs and go home. And there's plenty to choose from around here. Got some more garlic seed. That's good. Okay. I mean, I'm going to take what's on the ground. It's just... I don't need any of it. It's a quiet area. With a lot of pigs in it. And some corn. Very cool, very cool. You ever notice there's a lot less natural water fountains around the areas outside of, uh... Outside of Woodbury? Or is it just me? 
Maybe I'm just losing my mind. Thug boots, though. Okay, got some root soil. Got some more corn. Again, definitely not complaining. If nothing else, I can turn it into food. Thank you for the extra stuff. Nope, nope, you're going to attack me. An ass assin. Now with extra ass. Get out of here. Alright, another another map fragment, though. Remember, it's basically worth more to sell them separately than it is to combine them. A little ass backwards, but I guess I get it. Actually, no, I don't get it at all. Like, for most things, it's worth more to put things together than not. Why is that the only thing that's the other way around? Like, it's not true. It's not the only things. We've already established iron and steel. Don't turn it into nails. Turn tin into nails. Yes, do that all day. But not iron and steel. That's just going to make you cry. And you don't want to cry, do you? Probably not. Get out of here. You get out of here, too. Very cool, very cool. All right, a few, a few more leaks. Very, okay, who are you? A miner, okay. You want to trade? Dude ores, cobalt ore. Buy it all first. That's gonna cost me so much money to buy this crap. Quartzite. Ah, this is all worth just one. I can buy it. Runestone. Is that worth one, too? It is. You're right. I could buy clay now and sand. That's a stupid brag, but still. I could buy sand. Got we have 138 cotton seeds now. I'm gonna lose my mind. Um, I'm getting... I got two of those gauntlets already. I already have two of these bear hide boots in inventory. Uh, I'm not making it to the place where I'm making money from him, but that's fine, I think. I mean, I could. I could sell some other things, like steel candelabra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sell these. Uh, keep the silver one. I can... Oh, yeah, these. Oh, my gosh. Look at the money just flow into me. I f and I legit forgot about all this garbage that I made literally just to sell. Okay. Thank you. Now, come with me, Burb. Brib. Sorry. Didn't mean to get your name wrong. We have a miner. Oh, baby. That makes me feel good. We're going to give you an underground house. It's going to be great. Here, take some pig food. You take some pig food, too. Got two pigs, which means we can get more pigs. Yeah, we'll get some more and more. Some double more. There you go. Now I got four pigs. Uh, five pigs. Let's take them home. Got to wrangle all these lads to the house. I'm very happy. I am extremely happy with that adventure. Okay. Hey, all. Hey, uh, sorry, I forgot your name. Um, legit, forgot your name. Theruna. Sorry. Uh, you know, I'm not going to buy any food from you right now. Okay, y'all come, come over here. Come through here. I'm going to close this door. Come on through. You too, pig. Thank you. Close the doors politely, please. You know how to walk upstairs. I know you could do at least that much. The herbalists are going to go where the herbalists go. Do I have the signpost in the inventory? I do. Okay. Sup, uh... Letitia. How's it going? Alright, over here. Oh, dear. Well, that's a problem. Uh, we'll worry about that later. Okay. Oh, right, you're, you're gonna have to... Because you don't know how to jump down, do you? But one of you made it down. How come Brib was able to do it? Huh? You ain't gonna be able to do it here, too, though. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll just... <laughs> Alright, you two need to come down from there. Come on, I know you know how to drop down the platform. That part you can do. Come on. Come on. Hey, there you go. Beautiful work. Okay. I'm just gonna cut to the chase here and chop these down right away. Alright. Come on over. Um. Tell you what. I'll, I'll fit two beds in here. 
uh, Brib, you could stay here. And then, uh, oh, and uh, Snoodras, you could stay here as well. Very cool. I'll get you some beds and stuff in a little bit. Um, Brib, now, you... I'm gonna I'm gonna build you a spot. You're gonna you're gonna live under. You're gonna love it, probably. Okay, it, it, this is just a starter. Okay, you know it's gonna it's gonna be better as time goes on. But this is a nice little starter spot. Also, there's some sand over here for me to dig up, so I'm gonna do that. But I mean, it, it would make sense. You you be over here. You know where you mine. It's, it'll be fine. You'll love it. And you know how to jump up and down platforms, so, you know. Can you actually make it up here? I don't think you can. I don't think you can jump that high. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to just do, like, that. Okay, yeah, he could make that. He tried hard. There you go. And then he could make it up. In theory. Yeah, see? He can make it in and out. Fine. Alright, come on back down this way. D down this way, please. Brip, Brip, please. Stop. Down. Thank you, sir. Alright. Let me go ahead and bust all this for you. And honestly, you do some important work here. Mining is a... is a core... job. So, I'm gonna bust down some more area here for you. You can have a nice... good-sized little mini-mansion going on. I'm actually going to go one farther down than this, though. I think. Wait. Can you... Can you make a jump from here? Ah, actually, no. I'm going to... Dang it. Uh... <laughs> excuse me. I'm going to... I'm going to fill this in. This this area gets filled in. Uh, what do we put in for you? Mmm... I mean, I have some nicer blocks. I don't know. I have this soul stone. Yeah, this, this is good stuff. Yeah, it's good. Mm-hmm. This is some strong material right here. You're going to love it. There you go. Get some of that going. Uh, maybe go right here. Yeah, he's going to be a solid house, man. Um, I saw a little wiggle you got. Actually, I hate the look of that. I'm going to actually soul stone the background here. Because of that mud, it's bothering me a lot. <laughs> uh, and it's going to be down here, too. So I'm going to do it here as well. There we go. We got enough of it. Why not? Yeah, now that's flush. Okay, that's much better. Oh, I see it down here, too. Ugh. Golly. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to make it a little bit better. You understand. All right. Uh, yeah, you know what? You don't need the background there, actually. So that, that works. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to let this whole thing be a drop down. So this is where the door is going to go. So with that in mind, this is the shape of the actual house. And then, uh, tell you what, go down this way. We'll make sure you get a couple of windows in here. Like that. Yeah? yeah what, do you, what do you think? I think it's all right. I'll get you a smelter in here, get you a bed. Uh... There we go. Finish that off. Yeah, it'll be good. You give me the hands on the hips look for, huh? You like it. I think you're just being... I think you're just being mean. Uh, hey, let me... Uh, hey, you just, I, oh, now I see it at the bottom down here, too. Oh, my gosh. I gotta do all this, too. Uh, all the background area. I should have known it was gonna happen. But I acted like it wasn't. Don't shrug at me. I'm trying to make your house better. <laughs> uh, I don't care. I do. Okay? Let me have pride in my work, damn it. Or at least pretend to. Actually, if I do take down the background here, I think that'll look better at the bottom because it'll look like there's kind of a... Look like there's kind of a border down here. I, that's kind of neat. Yeah, I, I like that. All right, hey, uh, Brib, you should go ahead and stay here. Okay, thank you. I'll be right back. Gotta rebuild this. 
Uh, excuse you. What? Don't do that to me. Oh, you won't do that to me. There we go. It's about to be mad. Okay. Let me come back here. So, like I said, I'm going to replace my candelabras in here. Some nice silver ones. They look uh, exactly the same, other than being silver. So, what's the problem here? There we go. Actually, I'll keep those two. I kind of like those. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. So with that done, should have a nice copper candelabra in here. You know? There you go. That way you got some light in here no matter what. We'll get you a door. We'll, uh... This door's in here already, so all you... How'd you guys get over there? What the hell? Um... All right. Uh... <laughs> I need two beds, three beds. I need three beds, a couple doors, well, one door. Three beds and one door, okay? So start with the door. Uh, ooh, I can make a dwarven door. Well, you know what, since you got, since I got the base salt, might as well. Okay. And bed. I don't have the materials for it. Oaken bed, dwarven bed. We need the cloth and the feathers. I mean, I guess I could make him a dwarven bed, and I don't want to upgrade. I like my imperial bed, personally, so uh, I'm fine with that. So give me the cotton, and I need the chicken feathers, which are up here in this barrel. All right. Make me a bed. There we go. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is going to take a while. Oh, yeah, and I need two more beds for the others, so... I'm just going to do pine beds. Honestly, I think they look better than the wicker beds. And who's to say they don't deserve a little bit of quality, you know? Need two of these. Thank you. Alright, we got a lot of NPCs. I appreciate that. Like I said, this was a good day. It was a very good day. I, I can make more decorations. I know I can. But this is kind of like a start, you know? Um... Here, one of you can sleep here. The other one can sleep here. Yeah. It's it's a start, okay? <laughs> um, I know it's not perfect. It probably won't ever be, but it's, it's something. It's like a cart. I should put the alchemy stuff in the middle now. Like, this is the alchemy center. You know, this is where the herbalists live. I mean, you might be able to get an actual alchemist. I don't know. Genuinely have no idea. There we go. Look at that door! Tell you, you got nothing to worry about over here, buddy. Ain't nobody gonna get you. Um... Would you like a dwarven torch, too? I mean, I could get you those instead. Just, that's plenty of light, actually. Yeah, you need some more in here. I know, it's not decorated yet. Here, have this to light your way. But, uh... Yeah, I, I know, we're not we're not done. We got a nice imperial fireplace. You want that? Nah, it doesn't work there with the window. Never mind. We'll figure it out. Put this... up here. There we go. Activate it. Hold up. See what it takes to make a pig pen. Boop. What don't we have? Oak planks. Well, we can make those. We need 60 of them. So, turns out we got more than enough. Okay, oaken roof, oak logs, beams, slabs, basalt. Oh, yeah, we can make a lot of upgrades. Very nice, very nice. We can make all dwarven stuff. This is what we need right now, though. Yeah, da da da. Crafting at 55. Things are getting just a little bit better all the time. Okay. Pigs can go here. Now, all we gotta do is leave the map. Mm hmm. We surrounded by pigs. Hi, pigs. And then head back into the map. 
And we'll be surrounded by pigs. Hello, pigs. Uh, take this back. There we go. Y'all come up here. Oh, all the way. I, I know you can go up there. Now you're just insulting me. How dare you all pretend you can't go up there. I'm actually kind of mad. Oh my god. What is happening? Okay, try now. How can you go down here but not up there? Don't you dare fall down there. I will get so mad. Um... Oh, I didn't mean to plant that down. What if I... Okay, let's try... That. You choking me. <laughs> you giving me the actual yuck yucks. I'm gonna lose my mind. Um, you stupid pigs. Okay. Fine. Fine. If this is the only way you dumbass pigs can learn this, this is what we're gonna do. Leave the map again. Actually, I haven't been to this forest tile, but that's okay. There's nothing there I want, probably. I mean, there might be an NPC here, but I don't know that yet. <laughs> Get in the pen. Get in the pen, you stinky pigs. Did you lose one at some point? Or did I just lose my mind? Probably that one. All right, we got pig food somewhere. We got 25 of it. It's enough to get it started, okay? I assume we get the snouts when we slaughter them. That's usually how it goes. Do I, what, what makes pig feed again? Leeks and corn, which we have plenty of corn. Um, make me 20. We'll get 40 pig food and then we'll call it. So, with that in mind, a ton of good things happened today. We got some pigs, we got two more herbalists, which means we have plenty of, um... We probably don't even need to plant seeds anymore for that, but, you know, for the skills, it's it's worth doing. Uh, give me, like, 20 more. There we go. And we got a miner who allows us to buy ores, which is actually just blowing my mind with how awesome that the prospect of that is. So looking forward to that. Oh, boy. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Thet Plays Realms of Magic. If you did enjoy it, please do me a favor. Let me know you enjoyed it by giving it a like. If you haven't already, please do me another by subscribing if you want to see more. Thanks again for watching this episode of Realms of Magic. My name is Thet, and I will see you oh, in the next video. Everybody owes. In the meantime, I'm gonna be smelting like crazy. I could make cobalt. We're gonna have a time. It's gonna be a good time. Oh, it's it's gonna be an awesome time. Let me tell you, dudes. See you next time. <laughs>